hello guys and welcome in this new video in medico channel now i know there is a lot going on outside because of that virus and you know i don't want to mention that thing but that's not a topic of this video in this video i want to share my experience with you about which library to use between sdl or sfml to create a game or a game engine depending on what you actually want to do and i also want to make this clear up front i'm going to be sharing my experience so it probably not going to be the same thing as what you've heard from other youtubers and all that kind of stuff and i also want to be specific on what i have to say because i know you probably already read from the internet the comparison about um between sdl and sfml people don't just tell you things like sfml is this sfml uh, sdl is that and they don't actually tell you what they really think that's why i want to give my opinion on which one is better in this video so let's get started now as you can see on the screen right here i have this kind of game or game engine i used to call it game engine because i have been creating this in in the direction of a game engine i created this using sdl sdl2 but don't think <laughs> the fact that i use sdl to create this means that i think that sdl is better if you want to know which one i think is better just be patient okay we're coming to that so i created this using sdl2 and as you can see it's running perfectly and by the way if you want to know more about this i created a whole game a whole series a whole video series on youtube why I explain how to create this so I create this from scratch in that video series and you might gonna you know you might want to go and check that out I'll provide the link in the description below where you can actually go and create something like this so that's just something I wanted to say so and um, I also started create this same engine using the SFML to see how um, this was actually going to be and I just want to show you some things um, that could have changed in the code if I was using SFML so that you guys can kind of catch the idea of this. So if I open, for example, this engine class, this is like the core class of my of my um, engine, actually. And as you can see right here, this class is just a simple class. And I have some parameters like the windows that I defined here, the renderer. If I was actually using SFML, this would have been different since I could have simply come here and inherit from uh, SFML render window, for example, and all those methods I have right here, I wouldn't have to write that. So that would be somehow easier for me to handle this update, this render and even stuff without having to rewrite my own method for this. Those init and create and all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't have to write that and you see that's something that sfml would have you know brought that sdl hasn't but i also want to say something that you already know just to you know make this a little bit more uh, you know instructive we we all know that sdl is written in c and sfml is written in c plus plus with object oriented uh, you know architecture and all that kind of stuff and you know the simple fact that SDL is written, in, is written in C could be a good point since C is really powerful as a language, C++ also, I, I, I don't want to be even start with that. Those two languages are really powerful. But something that I really uh, experience is the most of people, I mean at least almost everybody out there um, often use SDL with C++ because C++ actually offers more than C since you can use the object oriented and all that kind of stuff so it doesn't really you know make anything you know good like that as the LGBT in C but C is really robust and that's a good thing now there is also uh, one thing I also want to mention about this SFML uses um, the acceleration um, rendering the, the graphic card as default to render things on the screen but SDL instead use the GPU, the CPU, I'm sorry, the CPU to render things on the screen. And if you want to use the, 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 the graphic card in SDL, you have to specify it. Hello. That's also a good thing because SDL can actually work on computers that doesn't have all, you know, all devices that doesn't have, that do not have um, 
um, graphic card S SFML cannot do that SFML will not work on something that doesn't have a graphic card but SDL can so you, you see there is like uh, this confusing stuff but there is also one part which is really important the documentation SDL has a pretty bad documentation I would say there is not really a lot about it SDL documentation but SFML has a pretty good documentation that could be a good reason so I'm just giving some you know some point just like that so that you guys can have an idea SFML could be used uh, to render um, OpenGL stuff and all that kind of stuff it's it's also a nice point but I don't want to get in those things that that's not important so what I think is this I think SFML is better but I also want to add something to what I'm saying. I just don't want to say SFML is better because, you know, just like that. No, SFML is better because it offers a lot already built in. So if I start a project with SFML for game, for example, function like move an object to move object are already implemented. Event handler and all that kind of stuff are also, you know, keyboard input SDL also has all that it's 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 clear I don't want to say SDL doesn't have that it has a lot all, all of that but SFML already have like those things one problem I really have with SDL is the problem of geometries uh, shapes like rectangle cycles um, ellipse SFML already have that so if you want to create your own UI library you probably want to go with SFML because SDL is going to give you a lot more to deal with than SFML will do. So that's why I think SFML is better. But for my project right here, as you can see on the screen, I used SDL and I really like it. SDL is also really robust. So there is, it's not a question if SFML is good or not. I'm not talking about is, if one of these libraries is good or not. Both libraries are good. and that's not a question so I have a small SFML project that I created I was actually starting a new project I wanted to create like a secret simulator in C++ so I haven't done a lot on that right now um, I need to close this guy first so I hope this is gonna run yeah so you can see right here I have a simple SFML project one thing I really like about SFML is like this cycle. If I want to draw a cycle, as I said, in SDL, <laughs> I have to think. And uh, I'm probably going to be using the texture in instead of just drawing a shape like this. And uh, this was just like a simple showcase. And, and uh, if I show you, for example, how I started this. So if I open here, I'll have the, the director right here. You can see. I was actually talking about this in the beginning of this video the fact that I could inherit from SFML since it was C++ based so you see right here I just create this director which is gonna be my main window on which I'm gonna be doing my simulation and all that kind of stuff so and I just inherit from this render window so I don't have to implement the draw function I don't have to implement the I don't even implement this event function actually I don't think I did, did I? Yeah, I did, so I don't know why I did this. This is, yeah. Okay, whatever. One thing is, as you can see, I have this row function already done right here. I don't have to deal with uh, how this uh, shape is gonna be drawn on the screen. Everything is done straight. And uh, if I wanna move an object, I can simply use the move function, which is already implemented. I don't have to even think about it. And yeah. That's something I like about SFML. So, from my opinion, SFML is if you want to create a game faster, if you want to do something that you not want to, you know, you don't want to build everything from scratch. Just want to take something out of the box and just use it. Go out with SFML. But if you are interested in creating your own, you know, your own stuff, creating your own component, building things from scratch then you're probably going to go with SDL because SDL is a really simple library as it is called and yeah, you probably want to do that. So um, that's it for this video and as I said, if you want to learn how to create a game like this one that I have, you can simply go on the link in the description below and I provide a link for the playlist to create this game right here and you will learn how to create a game engine in C++ using the SDL library and uh, yeah.
that's all for this video thank you for watching um go out and subscribe and like this video and share with other people that you know that will have interest in this kind of content ciao